Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is going on, guys? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. How the tables turn. Well, 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 damn. All right, I was meant to die. You guys remember that video I made last? Yeah, like my last video talking about the MP5 nerf, how there's a good chance it's going to happen, and how the Uzi and MP7 will be meta, and, you know, I read some of the comments. Some people are like, agreeing with me, and some people are like, no, empathy, why are you saying this? Why are you predicting this? Well, your boy was absolutely right. If you guys didn't know, there was a recently a big patch, and basically the growl got nerfed, the MP5 got nerfed, a lot of guns got nerfed, and you know, I'm all for it because I'm I'm down for new meta. And right now I'm currently rocking the Uzi. Um, this gun is an absolute shredder. Apparently, uh, pro players are hating that it actually shreds too fast. Um, I was playing a little bit with it yesterday. I was playing 10s, some pro 10s. Yesterday. On the other side. Out of out of here. Secret, secret. One more shot. You can push that race. Two things. C1, I think. Nice. You're down. We're still top mid. Yeah, we're behind the other one. I can't kill the guy. Yeah, he's got top three. Nice shot. Bro, bro, bro. Guys, that stream apathy? No, I'm making a YouTube video. I can't stream and make a YouTube video. So right now, I'm rocking the freaking Uzi. This thing is a freaking beast, man. I've been testing different attachments. Also, the no stock got nerfed from the submachine gun. So it's kind of an interesting. We are in an interesting part right now. We're still a little bit of a testing stage. Um, at least with the no stock. But like I said, I did use the Uzi pretty much all day or all night yesterday. Um, you guys might be wondering how are we using the Uzi when it wasn't even nerfed yet. But we're just playing 10s without the MP5 and just running Uzis and MP7s. So I was practicing a lot with it. And I actually was having a lot of fun because it was something different, you know? I've always said, man, I said if the MP5 gets nerfed, it's going to be a Uzi meta, bro. I kept saying it. I kept saying it. I can't say it. And it's become true. Now, where is my like leave a like in the video guys for predicting the mp5 nerf no seriously um teammate i'm sorry you had to get killed because i wanted to kill i didn't want you to get the kill so my teammates could see or that yeah you know what i mean now there has been talks about not using no stock um no stock definitely is i don't know it's, it's definitely worse um you can tell there's a big, a bit of a, a recoil. Change. Let me get my Uzi back. There's definitely an increase in recoil. Uh, the sway is a little bit noticeable, but the sway is not really the big deal, right? It's more about the recoil uh, that's more so the big deal. But I feel like the attachments I have on with no stock, um, the recoil control is pretty good still. Like, it's pretty easy to control. My God, why are these guys so cracked? It's like two. So I'm a big fan of the no stock. Look at that, baby. Look at that, baby. Three piece. I think it's honestly, in a way, worth it. Uh, the mobility on it is just insane. They might have increased the recoil. They might have nerfed it. But they kept the same movement speed. And the movement speed is what's really important about it. So I'm trying my best to, uh, you know, use no stock. Uh, make some adjustments. You know, change some attachments to, to, you know, work with that a little bit more increase of a recoil that it has now. Because I think it is worth it to keep it. And you and you want to have no stock on your gun, man. You run so much faster. Uh, you move around the map a lot quicker. This allows you to be more aggressive on cuts. Allows you to get to places faster. Allows you to rotate faster. Allows you to, you know, hit faster movements. And, like, camera people. It's just... No stock is just so good overall, man. And it's like, you you gotta try to have... You gotta try to have it. And that's why in my class right now, I'm rocking. I actually love this class a lot. What are these guys doing? And by the way, so you guys know, I have tried every gun, basically. Uh, I did try, like, everything you can think of. You know. I didn't just sit there and be like, you know what? The Uzi's the best gun. I told you guys, man. What'd I tell you guys? I, 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 I literally tested every gun, man. I tested a Vector. I tested MP7. I tested a Mini Uzi. I tested everything, man. I really wanted to use a different gun than the Uzi. Uh, I've kind of sort of got used to the Uzi. Now I don't mind it. Before it was kind of like, I don't want to use it. Um, but yeah, I've just, I just tested every single gun. So the Uzi for sure is just the most broken, the most dominant. Uh, the add-on attachments is just insane on it. It's really insane. 
I wanted to use the vector so bad. The vector, the MP7, something different. But I couldn't, man. I couldn't. It just, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. I, I love when people get sweaty versus me because obviously they see my name and they want to get sweaty. And I get it. Like, I really do. I'm just kind of waking up. You know, you know when you just wake up, you got to get warmed up. Your fingers are still like a little stiff. If you're shot, you're, you're, you're still waking up. So your brain's kind of still off. You know, that's how I feel right now. And I'm, I'm still playing well. I'm obviously still piecing, but I'm not like all here right now. I'm not. Like, I'm, a, I'm like 80, 70%, 80% apathy. I'm, I'm not even a hundred. You know what? You know what 110% apathy looks like? So we're going to get spawns here. I'm going to beam this guy. Um, Uzi just has it all, man. Has good recoil control, has good damage. Uh, it just has everything, bro. And that's why, that's what makes the Uzi so dominant, you know? It's so viable. Oh, and I, oh. I still can't believe that I called it. I called the nerf. I called it. And people were so like, Apathy, like, you're so wrong. Like, Apathy, what are you even saying, bro? And look, look at us now. Look at us now. Honestly, did not expect them. I'll be honest. Like, I did not expect them to nerf it that fast. Like, they said it was going to be mid-season and all these things. And out of nowhere, literally two days after I posted the video, when I thought it would be maybe in, like, a couple weeks or, like, at least two weeks, bam. Hello, get in the hill. Do you guys know how to win a game? You get in the objective. Yes. Yes, that is correct. That's how, that's how you win a game. You get in the objective. Yes. That is correct. Oh my God, who would have thought? I'm in the hill. Who would have thought? We're closer to winning. Oh my God. Bro, like my teammates are like purposely escaping the hill. Like, no, do not escape the hill. Conquer the hill. Heal the hill. Location secured. Four bears! Get off me, son. Get off me, son. You want us some apathy? You got him, baby. 48 and 29. Oh, still wiping the crust out of my eyes. <sighs> Drop that like. You know how we do it all the time. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got some more Ramaza, Hardpoint. Keep using a mini Uzi. Um, I still don't have, like, I don't know. I feel like this class can still be tweaked, but I'm not sure now with the no stock basically being gone. Or not, I would say gone, nerf, my bad. The reason why is because the recoil control is a little bit harder now with no, with no stock on. So sleight of hand is pretty good um, to, to have fast gameplay. Oh my God. So right now I'm using my other Uzi class. Uh, this is for a more close range of smaller maps because I'm rocking sleight of hand and a no grip on this thing. So it's a little bit interesting. It's a little bit different, but it's faster paced because it's sleight of hand. And uh, obviously when no foregrip, you, you aim a little faster. Interesting class I was trying out in tens last night. Dude, how's that nade hit me? I'm behind the wall. Ah, I got one. I'll be showing both of the classes I was using, first map and second map, at the end of the video, like I always do. Just making sure you guys know. Um, the recoil control definitely is a little bit worse on this one, and that's where the problem lies. I just killed my team with a, with a stun. Oops. And he, of course he has the OD on. Are you guys gonna hit the hit the hit the alley or are you guys gonna sit there? The mini Uzi is such a good pre-aim gun, man. You guys know who Simp is. Most of you probably do that watch my stream or my channel. At least some of you guys do. Um he was using this class, this specific class right here in Tens last night, and I kinda like this. So I tried it out and pretty good bro i don't know some people think the mp5 could still be used but i highly doubt that man i'm kind of curious what you guys think uh leave down in the comments below if you think the mp5 can still be viable if you're planning to use it uh or what gun are you planning to use if you more of a mp7 guy you know uh all guy i don't know there's definitely different guns and different uh things you can do so oh he's so lucky i was weak i would have popped that three piece yep 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 that's how i do it 
like I said, guys, I'm still testing things out. So I really don't want to say that, you know, a class is the best Uzi class when it's really not. I don't want to give you guys false information and false knowledge. Um, a lot of stuff, a lot of things are still in the testing stage right now with guns and like trying to figure out what would be the best attachments for like the Uzi for everything. So until I really know like what is the best Uzi class and like I really feel confident at least like a mixture of the best Uzi class. Uh, then I'll tell you guys, but there's still going to be going some testing going on, like I said, for next at least couple days. Too many, like, different variations, too many, like, nerfs, too many attachments, like, it's just too much right now to really say, like, to confidently be like, all right, you know what? This is the best class. Um, with no stock being nerfed, it's just, dude, there's just too many things, man. So, what I have to keep testing stuff out to really be, to really be comfortable with things. Bro, the crazy thing to me is, like, we have so little time of the lifespan of this game, bro. Like, it's actually like a month and a half left, and we're going to a whole new game after. Like, that is uh, actually absurd to think about, man. What is it? Black Ops? We're going to a Black Ops game? Let's go, man. That's hype. I love this Uzi class, man. It's it's so, it's so like, fast, bro. It's, it's so mixy. The only thing is the, the no stock, like, the no stock, bro. Like, it got nerfed. Oh my god. It got nerfed and now you know you gotta ask yourself like can you run this class still? If no stock never got nerfed, I think this class is still viable. With no stock being nerfed, like can you actually run this class? Or is it or is it chickity chickity chow? I got no I got that's on three up. I'm gonna hit mid again. They can't hear anything I'm doing. Oh my god. I'm dead. <laughs> We actually went off this hill. And I have acquired the 40 bomb. Okay, maybe we don't lean off this hill anymore. What the hell? This guy's just chilling in the corner. He's just chilling in the corner, my brother. That's how we do it, baby. Uzi gang. We are using the Uzi. I kept trying to tell you guys. I kept trying to tell you guys. MP5 nerf right now. All the pro players are using the mini Uzi. This is the first mini Uzi class uh, I was running. I do like this one. I think this one's more consistent with the no stock nerf. I just really like sleight of hand, especially in a respawn. So I don't know if I might maybe take off stippled for sleight of hand. Uh, I feel like that's the only thing you can take off uh, realistically, but I kind of like stippled. And then for my other Uzi class I was running was this one. Uh, this is the one I was actually using a lot last night too. Uh, this one is really fun. It's really mixy. The sleight of hand helps. You're just faster. Um, you don't use rub rides instead of stippled. It helps. It helps basically reduce that recoil control, and it just makes it easier. It's a very mixy class, but this class, I don't know if it it's good enough now with the no stock nerf because the recoil feels kind of bad. So I'm still testing things out. We're still figuring things out. You know, the us pro players are gonna figure out very soon within these next day or two what is the best gun. Which we pretty much all agree it's the Uzi. And what are the best attachments on the Uzi to really just nail it on the coffin? You know, this is the best Uzi class you can use. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. This has been your boy, Apathy. I do appreciate all the support. I've said in the comments uh, in my last video, but we've been hitting 1,000 plus likes every video. It means a lot to me, man. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Just hit it, man. Click it. Touch it. Whatever you got to do. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.